Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Lindsay. Today we're going to be talking about the quotient rule. However, um, let's do a little bit of review with a warm up here. So if you can go ahead and write these down, pause the video, solve them, um, and then press play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so here's the first one. And hopefully you see what I did over here on the right. Um, again, we need to rewrite this radical um, as a fractional exponent. Then I did the product rule. First times the root of the second plus second times the root of the first. And same exact process down here for number two. So I need to rewrite it as uh, t to the negative one. We need to get that t up to the numerator. So I rewrote it first. Then I took uh, first to root of the second plus second times the root of the first with the product rule. So here are the answers here. Okay, so again, remember you always need to have um, a number times the variable raised to an exponent in order to do the uh, power rule. Um, so we're doing both the power rule and product rule here in this case for both of these examples. Alright, so now we're going to talk about the quotient rule. Okay, alright, so the formal definition, quotient rule. The derivative of the quotient of two differential functions is given by this. Okay, so let's talk about this just a little bit in terms of our notation. Okay, so first of all, we have this notation here. So this is, means you're taking the derivative with respect to x. Okay, and then the quotient rule, again, when you're dividing, right, you have a numerator and denominator, function on the numerator, function on the denominator. So you're taking the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. So a common phrase that we use to say this is low d high minus high d low over low squared. Okay, so in other words, just the whatever the function is, the low function times d, d high means derivative of the high. So the low function, the denominator, times the derivative of the numerator, minus high, so the numerator times the derivative of the low, which is the denominator, and again the denominator squared. So low d high minus high d low. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so now this function here um, can be done actually two different ways. Um, hopefully you see from what we've been doing with the power rule, if we simplify this first, this could be a fairly easy process. So again, I can cancel out and just get 4x, and then I can do in my um, power rule, which would give me a derivative of 4. We're going to show this. Now again, this is not probably the most efficient way to do this problem, but you'll see why we need the quotient rule in our other examples. I'm going to use the quotient rule in this case over here. So over here on the left, this is using the simplify and then power rule. That's what we did here. And on the right, I'm going to use the quotient rule. So the quotient rule is low, so x squared, d high, so the derivative of the high, so 12x squared, minus high, so the numerator, times the derivative of the low, d low, over low squared. So again, low d high minus high d low over low squared. Does not look like 4. However, we can definitely simplify this derivative just to see um, what we get here. So if I go ahead and multiply through, so here I get 8x to the 4 over x to the 4. Keep going. Subtract in the numerator. And you can see in our very last step, we would get exactly 4 as our derivative. Now obviously using the power rule, simplifying using the power rule, this is a shorter method of doing it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using the quotient rule here as well. Okay. Let's try another example. 
here it doesn't necessarily simplify. So using the quotient rule is definitely the best method. Okay, so again, we're going to apply the low d high minus high d low over low squared. So low, derivative of the high, so derivative of this is zero, but now we'd have, again, our power rule. Minus high, derivative of the low, all over low squared. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and just leave it that way. We could definitely simplify it. We could, uh, like we did in the previous problem, distribute, simplify. Um, there's going to be a time and a place where we definitely need to do that, but right now um, we can simply leave our answer this way. And again, please recall in the textbook, um, a lot of times they do simplify, so if you want to check it and your answers don't quite match, please just go ahead and start simplifying and see if they do match at that point in time. Okay, let's try another one. All right, I would actually like you to try this one on your own. Again, quotient rule, um, because again, this will not simplify or reduce. So we would have um, low d high minus high d low over low squared. Please check your answer, uh, push play when you are ready to check your answer. Okay, um, and again, I did not simplify this answer, um, but um, I did low d high minus high d low over low squared. All right, and moving on to another example. Okay, so here we have a function. Now we have a couple of different things going on with this one. So we have a first function and a second function. So this is actually product rule, but within the product rule, when we do derivative of our second function, we're going to have to do the quotient rule. So we're going to be applying both rules there. Here, as, a, as always, we typically almost always are using power rule with all in all. So again, product rule, so we have first, derivative of the second, so derivative of the second. Now we're applying the quotient rule when we're taking derivative of that. So that's going to be, I'll put this in brackets, low d high, so that'd be three, derivative of the numerator is three, minus high, derivative of the low, over low squared. And then we have to finish the product rule. So we did first, derivative of the second, plus second, and I'll continue that down here, derivative of the first. And move that over so that looks a little bit going on over there. Okay. Alright, and let's kind of finish up here with, um, again, what is the definition here with the quotient rule? So if we have a function h of x, um, we have a function divided by a function, f of x divided by g of x. I was trying to find the derivative. Is there a notation here? So low, so whatever the denominator is, so that's g of x, times derivative of the high, minus high, times derivative of the low, over low squared. So similar to how we ended with the product rule, you're now going to find, let's start with this first one, the derivative when x is 0. So h prime of 0. Okay, so if we plug this all in, so again, recall, we would just simply change x in our first case here, these would all be zeros. So in this case, let me extend this page here. So we have um, so it'd now be g of zero times f prime of zero. So g of zero times f prime of zero. So low d high minus high d low 
over rho squared. So back up so we can see our functions here. G of 0 in this case is going to be 4 times f prime of 0, which would be 5, minus f of 0, which is 3, times g prime of 0, which is 2, all over g of 0, which is 4. Okay. So that will give us 20 minus 6 over 16, 14 over 16, Um, and we won't worry about h prime of 2, but I would like you to go ahead and pause the video. Try to do um, h prime of 1 and see what you come up with and push play when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, um, so here's h prime of 1. And we get the answer. Alright, and this concludes our um, notes on quotient rule.